Next question is from Sassney Fitness. How can you get quality sleep when working shifts? Oh man. By shifts, they mean swing shift, right? Yeah. Is that what that means? Yeah. So I have um, uh, my, my- One of the hardest things to deal with. Oh, dude. It, would you ever train clients? Terrible schedule. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so difficult. Courtney did that for quite some time when we first were married. So, really? Yeah. Because she's a that nurse. in the graveyard, yeah. Yeah. I have a- So my sister's boyfriend is a, is a police officer, just became one two years ago in San Jose. And I don't know if you guys know this, but when you first become a, a police officer, the first couple of years, it's like they give you the shit shifts. Like you're gonna work the yeah you know midnight shifts and whatever oh, you gotta earn it you gotta earn it so he was doing this and you know he's a you know he was a ex special forces super high performance type of dude but after about six months of this I mean we had dinner at my mom's house on one of the, one of the rare occasions he had the weekend off and he's like dude he goes it's it's killing me he's like so hard I feel terrible physically and mentally like what can I do so what I recommended that he do was when about an hour to two hours, preferably before he was supposed to go home. So he would get off at like, I think it was like 11 a.m., which in, what he was supposed to do is go home and then get sleep, right? Go to sleep. But the sun is out. It's bright. Like, what do you do? So I said, okay, first off, black out your bedroom completely. You need to have zero light coming into your room. Yeah. Number two, it's hard for your brain to, to go from bright light to sleep. So it's like you can't just come home, sunlight everywhere, you know, or bright lights of the office or whatever, because, you know, at the end of a shift, he would have to do paperwork and then just decide you're going to go to bed two hours before prepare your brain that it's nighttime. So I told him wear blue light blocking glasses, the ones designed for night. Well, this is where I feel like this has tremendous value. Huge. I think this has value anyways. I utilize yeah. them all the time. But I, I wish I understood. This is you know, vital in this situation. Right. I wish yeah. I understood this back when I was training clients a decade ago, like how, how important the circadian rhythm was and, and yeah. the importance of sleep and the importance of them preparing themselves for sleep and has to be one of the hard. It's already challenging for normal people that are working with the sun to, to prepare themselves to go to bed. Yeah. It's really tough if you're asking somebody at noon or one in the afternoon to try and close their eyes and go to sleep. Yeah. So I told them and I told them some other stuff because the sun on your skin will also tell your brain that the sun is out or whatever. So I told them, uh, when you get in your car, turn on your AC, you get your body cold because that'll help you sleep. Um, and wear something that covers most of your skin. You don't you want your your skin out of the sun as well because you don't want to be in like shorts, short sleeve. Wear your blue light blocking glasses, but you know your sun's all over your body. So I said, put on some well, long I hope sleeves. They don't live in the desert. Yeah, cover everything. Turn on your AC. Get your body cold. Put on blue light blocking glasses. And then of course later on, he's like, uh, I I don't like the blue light blocking glasses because they're orange or they're red. Like what's the deal? And so then that's when we started working with Felix Gray. So I'm like, here you go. Because what he does is, he, you know, an hour or two before he goes home, he's doing paperwork for all the shit that he did during the during a shift. Mm -hmm. And wearing <laughs> colored glasses yeah. isn't the easiest thing. So he got the Felix, because the Felix Ray ones don't change the color yeah, of the room. Yeah, it's so tough because you're buzzing, you know, immediately right after work. Half the time you want to, like, you want, you want to talk to somebody. And, like, I remember, like, Courtney coming home from work. <laughs> like, trying to wind down was the most difficult thing. And then finally, like playing really like classical music yeah. and you know like you said like turn the ac on and then like really trying to calm herself down uh help tremendously well this is where i would even couple like brain fm with this totally yeah, like i you mean go. you take do something like that put put like the sleep brain fm mode on you know why i mean that would be ideal throw those blue blockers on throw the sleep mode in there get it cool inside your room uh to create that environment and that'll probably put someone down totally well. you know the, the the world health organization Labels shift work as a is a, a high level carcinogen, right? Because and heart disease, heart disease and cancer is higher because it throws off your your circadian rhythm. Now, so and much. I wonder though, I mean, and that's probably because most people just go about it and don't think twice about Dude, it, right? Yeah. I wonder though if some people actually made the effort to really do the things that you're talking like how about. How much of an effect right like how much like how much more uh you know would it affect them if they were doing these steps? Well extreme cases you need extreme aids. You really need to like research like what you can do to prevent all that. Yeah and if you think about it like think about it this way I'm about to get into a heavy workout, right? I don't go from taking a nap or you know, relaxing in a dark room to going to the gym to now lifting super heavy. It's it's a, it's a way, way too crazy of a shift. Typically, what I do is I prepare myself mentally about an hour before. I'm ready. When I get to the gym, I'm ready to rock and roll. 
Same thing for sleep. You have to have like that. You have to prepare your mind and your body for sleep. You can't expect to go from work to bed and just, you can shut your eye. Even if you're exhausted, here's the thing. They, they've done studies on this. You could be dead exhausted and go to sleep right away, but your sleep quality is shit mm -hmm. because your brain still buzzing, still buzzing from thinking it's daytime and all that stuff. So, like I, that's what I always tell people, shift workers. I say two hours before you want to go to bed, do everything you can to put yourself in a mental state to prepare yourself for sleep. You know that two hours later. Next.